This is Delhi, the capital city of India. We already know Delhi for its monuments, its heritage, its food, its chaos, and the breathtaking air. Quite literally. Every winter, the city disappears behind a grey curtain. Schools shut, flights cancelled, hospitals fill up, and the world watches, horrified. But here's the twist. While most of us were busy doom-scrolling AQI charts, something else was quietly taking root. Not another app, not another air purifier, but forests and biodiversity parks. The kind that might just convince even Brian Johnson to take off his mask. Seven forests grown from scratch on land once buried in mining waste and plastic. I'm your host, Lavanya, and in this episode of The Climate Brief, we explore how Delhi's pollution crisis sparked one of the boldest, greenest urban transformations in India. Could these forests be the answer? Not just for Delhi, but for every city gasping for breath. And has the world's most polluted capital finally found a way to clean its air? In 2002, Delhi was changing fast. Flyovers were rising, malls were opening. Its air was among the world's worst. Its green spaces were vanishing. And large chunks of land, especially along the Aravali Ridge, had turned into dead zones. That's when the city's Lieutenant Governor Vijay Kapoor asked a simple but urgent question. What are we doing to protect what's left of Delhi's nature? Across the table was ecologist Professor C.R. Babu, who had spent years studying degraded ecosystems. And in that conversation, at a quiet symposium in the Delhi Secretariat, a bold idea took root. What if Delhi didn't just protect green spaces, but rebuild them? That idea became a blueprint. And in 2004, work began on two sites, Aravali and Yamuna Biodiversity Park. At Aravali, the land was a scarred stretch of old mining pits and concrete debris. Nothing grew there, except an invasive thorny tree, Bilayati Kikar. Enter M. Shah Hussain, an ecologist from Delhi University. He and his team, backed by the Delhi Development Authority and Delhi University's Centre for Environmental Management of Degraded Ecosystems, or CEMDE, took on the challenge of healing it. Not by planting fast-growing trees, but by reviving the entire ecosystem from the ground up. Over the next 20 years, they painstakingly restored over 692 acres, the size of more than 500 football fields, into what is now the Aravali Biodiversity Park. Today, the Aravali Biodiversity Park has Delhi's only orchid conservatory, ferns, bamboos, medicinal herbs, and even a hidden roost of Delhi's rare blight horseshoe bat. But this wasn't a one-off. The blueprint spread. Neela House, once a stinking sewage pool, is now a wetland that naturally filters wastewater. No electricity, no machines, just plants. By 2024, Delhi had seven biodiversity parks spanning over 820 hectares. The seven parks are Yamuna Biodiversity Park, Aravali Biodiversity Park, Kamla Nehru Ridge, Tilpath Valley Park, Neela Halls, Tughlaqabad, and Kalindi Biodiversity Park. These parks now function like real ecosystems. They cool the air, recharge groundwater, soak up floods, shelter endangered species, and maybe most importantly, they give Delhi something it had almost lost. Breath. We'll see just how. For a city like Delhi, these forests offer life support. And the impact, it's not just visible, it's measurable. In the last few years, dragonfly counts have nearly doubled. The number of butterfly species spotted during the annual survey is now 68 across all seven parks. Migratory birds that had long vanished are returning to Delhi's wetlands and four of Delhi's biodiversity parks recently showed a significant uptick in sightings of rare birds, even as sightings dropped nationally. And there's more. 
these parks are doing what technology has failed to do. They are cooling surrounding neighborhoods by up to 3 degrees Celsius. They are recharging groundwater, they are absorbing urban floods like sponges and they are filtering air naturally one leaf at a time. But maybe the biggest shift isn't ecological, it's emotional. Delhiites are falling back in love with nature. Every day thousands walk, jog, bird watch or just sit in these forests, breathing easier, literally. And now, other cities are paying attention. The Ministry of Environment launched the Nagar One Yojana, a mission to create 1,000 urban forests across India. These forests didn't solve Delhi's pollution problem overnight, but they are a step in the right direction. A living, breathing reminder that change doesn't have to be massive to be meaningful. Because their story proves one thing. If you give nature space, it doesn't just come back, it gives back. If this story gave you a little hope too, consider subscribing to The Climate Brief and share this video with a Delhiite. We are here to tell the stories that often get buried under breaking news. Stories about climate, resilience and the quiet transformations already unfolding around us.